Well, hey there, friends. It's good old Nano Dimensions, and look what they've done here. Man, I love Kathy Woods. When Kathy Woods does something, says something, you might want to pay attention. And I did that about a year or so ago when she started buying up Nano Dimensions. So friends, as of recent here, we have seen revenue come out here for the quarterlies ending in December 31st of 2021 with Nano Dimensions bringing in $7 million for their fourth quarter ending in December 31st and 10 and 10 million for the full year ended December 31st. That's a whole year, one, two, three, four quarterlies all together here. So still, Nano Dimensions is doing good. It's bringing in money, it's doing what it needs to do. And obviously, I'm not gonna go through the full year of Nano Dimensions because Nano Dimensions has done a lot here in 2021. The one of the biggest things it did was restructure their board. That was one of the big things that really scared a lot of people, but seems to be paying off. They brought in new minds. They paid for bigger, better people to think more outside the box with what this company is trying to do with their future. You know, Nano Dimensions is one of those companies that I've told people, I said, you know, I really think Nano Dimensions is going to be one of those stocks where you just one day you wake up and you go, oh man, that I, I should have bought it right then. I should have bought it. I, I think one day this, this stock, this company is going to have its day and we're just going to, once it gets going, it's just going to go. It, it's going to go. And this is going to be one of those stocks where people said like, man, I wish I would have pulled the trigger at $3. I wish I would have pulled the trigger at $4, $5, $6, $7, $10. It may take a little bit longer to, it may take some time to get there, but it'll probably be here before we know it. So friends, with these quarterlies, this is good news. And this is news that we've been wanting to see here wrapping up 2021 with Nano Dimensions. Now, Nano Dimensions today especially had a good day. And you know, most things on the market had a pretty good day. This is one of the best days we've seen. And not that there was a whole lot of growth in the overall market, but there was kind of just a spike back to getting things back on track. Look, now will this last? I don't know. So right now the market cap sitting with Nano Dimensions right now is 864.37 million. That float down there is 9.19% and shares outstanding is 256.49 million. Quite a bit of shares still standing out there but under a billion so that's good. <laughs> and still we're not seeing phenomenal volume in Nano. You know, Nano Dimensions has never really been, well, you know, I, I won't say that, but as of late, it has not been one of those stocks where there's a ton of movement on it. You know, it it kind of picks a place and it stays around there. You know, if it's going to play around the 350 zone, it's going to play around the 350, 360 zone, maybe hit a 370. If it's going to play around the 320 zone, it's going to be around the 320, 330, possibly 340. There's not too much wiggle room a lot of the times on Nano for big, big moves. But it is holding strong and it is slowly trying to get somewhere back to where it was in a double digit zone. Maybe possibly we can get there here in 2022. But volume is just not crazy right now. Volume is up. It is up. But it's not crazy. So friends, like I've said a lot, this is a growth stock. This is a stock that we are looking to down the road into the future of what this could be. And if you can get your hands on as much as you can right now, obviously there's a lot of people that buy this. There's a lot of big boys, big girls, big companies that buy into Nano Dimensions and they believe in it. And it's probably something you should really, really pay attention to, friends. I'm gonna be really honest with you. So friends, to wrap up the video, this is a 420% increase over the third quarter of 2021 and 194 increase over the full year of 2022. Obviously, 2022, that's for everyone. 2022 sucked for everything. So friends, all I said, I want to say, remember, be positive, be you. Take time to invest in your future. And friends, I wish every one of you the best of luck in the market this week. I'm excited. I hope this is a turnaround. I really hope this is a different wind in the sail here. I really do. I'm excited. Talk to you later, friends. Bye-bye.